Was this your soulmate? Definitely. For Sue, a blind date 56 years ago with a football star at Dartmouth named Jack Heidbrink led to a lifelong love. He proposed to you right away? On our first date, yes. Jack and Sue married and had two girls. Jack became a teacher and football coach. He was a role model for everyone. But in 2014, things began to change. He would forget where he was going. A disturbing diagnosis followed. Every doctor told us it was Alzheimer's. In November of 2022, Jack's family gathered to celebrate his 80th birthday. Love. Ready? Three months later, Jack passed away. His family donated his brain to the Unite Brain Bank. What doctors discovered here stunned Jack's family. He had full-blown CTE. CTE, chronic traumatic encephalopathy, a degenerative disease caused by hits to the head. It's changed the game of football and our understanding of the risk of head trauma. Jack's CTE was stage four, the most severe. Do you believe that it was tied to football? Definitely. While there's no way of knowing for sure, Jack's symptoms were on full display for years. Speaking with the families is crucial. Dr. Jesse Mez, co-director of clinical research at the CTE Center at Boston University, began to zero in on behavior to determine whether CTE, which can only be confirmed right now by dissecting the brain, could be diagnosed before death. For that, he turned to the families. We got together and said, this can only help. Jack's family agreed to fill out questions about his behavior. Their answers, along with those from hundreds of other families, led to this comprehensive report by Dr. Mez and his team, revealing unique behaviors by people with CTE, including being impulsive, having a short fuse, kind of flying off the handle, more pronounced than in Alzheimer's patients. Identifying these behaviors and combining them with neuropsychological testing and MRI images, Dr. Mez says, could lead to a breakthrough, diagnosing and treating CTE. Knowing the pathology is crucial for designing research studies to treat CTE in the future. Did I hear you correctly? Treating CTE? Of course, I mean, that's, that's the goal. For Jack's family, helping achieve that goal is perhaps the most fitting legacy for a husband, father, and extraordinary man. Helping matters. It, it gets everyone to the next level. Dwayne Pullman, Local 12 News. Sure, you can stop watching, but let's be honest, you want to know more. Tap the links or even better, click subscribe to stay in the know.